Hi there, Susie Cornish here. I am standing in front of 1636 Fair Orchard. This home I'm particularly excited about because it is an Eichler. And I am so excited to show you um, this mid-century modern icon home. This is brought to us by David Schwartz on the Ertl team. And thank you so much for letting us tour this amazing property. Starting outside, the sweeping roof line of these iconic Eichlers for this one covers a carport and a single car garage. This is an atrium model, so the front door actually opens onto the atrium courtyard. The atrium model of the Eichler home is built centered around the atrium. It is outdoor space, but essentially it acts to increase the living area because there are windows on three sides that look into the house or let light into the house. So it really offers the full California living indoor outdoor picture. Once we enter the front door, we walk across the atrium and we enter into the space that is the living room and the dining room with lovely views out the back door to the backyard. Continuing to follow the lines of the house, we reach the interior hallway, which is all glass on one side and shows us back to the atrium. Following from the dining and living area, we head into the kitchen. The kitchen features countertops that are tiled and also a peninsula that has an electric cooktop. The informal living space still has the original mahogany paneling and even the original light switches. It also has one solid wall of glass that lets in light and lets you enjoy the view out to the atrium. In the single car garage, we see the original mechanicals for the in-floor heating, and we also see the water heater. There is a workbench desk, clear story windows that provide natural light, and lots of cabinet space. Just on the other side of the kitchen is the dining room with the big sliding glass doors out to the backyard. This home was built in 1960 and it has this amazing built-in couch in the living room. The primary suite has a sliding glass door to the backyard. It also has some of the original mahogany paneling. And the primary suite does have an ensuite bathroom and a walk-in closet. In this bathroom, one of the kind of cool features that is typical of mid-century homes is in the shower stall, it is actually a sunken stall. So there is a step down into the shower. Continuing down the hallway, we have the other bedrooms and bathrooms. First is this hall closet with the original panel doors on it. Next, we come to the laundry area. And you'll notice at this point in the hallway, there are frosted glass doors back onto the courtyard. So there is light, but a little bit of privacy for the family areas. The bedroom features the mahogany wood paneling again. And in the two bedrooms along the hall, there are windows out to the back. Along the hall is another hall closet. And then the second exterior bedroom with the mahogany paneling and the windows out to the side yard. Then the fourth bedroom down the hall is bigger and more open. It enjoys the triangle lights up in the clear story. And it also enjoys the light from the sliding glass door that leads back out onto the center atrium. The backyard of this house has mature plantings and is laid out in two different sections. 
There's also quite a wonderful surprise. Have you spotted it? Here, nestled among the seating areas, is actually a model railroad set. I was charmed. The former owner must have put this up at some time in the past. It runs all the way through the backyard. It looks to me like there's just enough leaves on the track and different things that are in the way that I don't think the track would be effective right this minute, but it certainly captures the imagination. There's this old trestle bridge around a water feature. And then there's even a place where the track goes underneath and into a tunnel. If you are a train enthusiast at all at any level, wouldn't it be fun to clear the tracks and get a train going back through there? And in the side yard, there's a garden shed and it has this mural painted on the door. I think this is where all the trains were stored. So how did you like our Eichler tour? This home was built in 1960. One of the features that I like the most is the courtyard atrium. It's actually outdoors, but from almost every room in the house, it feels like it's an extension of your living space. If you are interested in this Eichler home or any of the other homes that are on the market right now, please reach out and let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. And my name is Susan Cornish, and I cannot wait to be your real estate resource of choice. Mm -hmm.